last quarter. This award is based on athletic participation, achieve, achievement, citizenship, leadership, scholarship, and coachability. Outstanding male athlete of the year participated in three sports, cross country, wrestling, and track. Even though he was not the outstanding athlete in any of them, he was a strong performer, extremely dependable, never complained, earned the respect of his coaches and peers, and played a key role in each sport he participated in. Our male athlete of the year, Kyle Sipe. He was playing football and running cross country at the same time until he realized 16 running back doesn't seem much playing time. Uh, this year he wanted to do cheerleading along with wrestling. <laughs> I told him no. And uh, the trophy car is receiving right now is the most expensive award that we've ever given at this school. That trophy I figure cost about $413.22, which is what Kyle has had to pay in obligations of his athletic career attempt. Congratulations, Kyle. Our outstanding female athlete of the year is a great all-round athlete and an excellent student. This young lady undoubtedly would start on any sports team that she chose to at any school. She participated in volleyball and softball. If you could marry her a kit with parts to build a female athlete any way you wanted to, this young lady is what most of us would end up building. She was just one outstanding young lady, feared on the field to play, and respected and liked off. Our female athlete of the year, Savannah Grimes. Could you come up there, please?